Hello everyone. First of all, I want to start off by saying I'm sorry about the lighting. It's a really sunny, cloudy day today, so sometimes it's going to be a bit orange, sometimes it's going to be a bit darker. I'm probably going to be squinting the whole way through this video. But anyway, recently on YouTube I have seen the 50 questions I've never answered tag going around. So today I thought I would be really creative very original, providing that quality content. Honestly, the amount of effort I put in to type in 50 questions tag on Google was just exhausting. So I hope you appreciate it. Anyway, let's get started. The first question is, what's your favorite candle scent? My favorite candle in the world is this one from Bath and Body Works. Gabby actually kindly got me this and I've burnt it a few times. But to be honest, I'm scared to burn it because I don't want to run out of it. It is such a strong Christmassy smell. And I put it by the doorway in my bedroom because you can smell it even when it's not burning, even when the lid's on. Sometimes I just get a whiff of it and I'm like, oh. Question number two is, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister? I feel like every celebrity to ever exist has just gone from my mind. Do you know what? I'm gonna go with Kylie Jenner because then all the Kardashians and Jenners would be my sisters and I would be a Kardashian and life would be so much easier. Logical thinking. What male celebrity do you wish was your brother? I'd probably choose Harry Styles because one, I feel like he'd be a really good brother and two, when you're getting to meet new people, it's quite a statement to say that Harry Styles is your brother. Question number four, is how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Realistically, I think I'll be 23 or 24. I've always wanted to get married at 21, but I don't think that's very realistic. <laughs> the next question is, do you know a hoarder? And there's no one that springs to mind, so I'm gonna have to go with no. Question number six is, can you do the splits? Do I look like someone that can do the splits? Number seven is, how old were you when you learned to ride a bike? I was four years old. I feel like that was quite young. Is it? Is it not? It's probably average, considering and how the rest of my life has gone. How many oceans have you swam in? I actually can't swim, so I have swam in a grand total of one ocean. It was in Turkey, but I didn't really swim. I kind of nearly drowned. How many countries have you been to? Right, I have the worst memory in the world. So, my holidays haven't been that exotic. I went to Spain first, then I've been to France a couple of times. I went to Florida, Turkey, Crete and Barcelona, so, or is Spain and Barcelona the same thing? Who knows? <laughs> Love being so intelligent. Is anyone in your family in the army? No. What would you name your daughter if you had one? I would name her either Delilah or, at the moment, I'm really loving the name Poppy. I just think it's such a nice name. It's so cute. It's really pretty. And then the next question is, what would you name your son if you had one? And my favourite name for a boy is Noah. What's the worst grade you got on a test? I can't remember, like, a specific test where I did really badly, but I'm going to go with the fact that in science, you know when you have like an end of unit test, was it just my school that did that? Like when you get to the end of a topic, you have a little mini test on it. In some of those, cool, it was horrendous, like ungradable. <laughs> and that literally made no difference to my life whatsoever, so who cares? What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? I absolutely loved Tweenies, High Five, and there was a program where a character like went to the gate. I'm gonna have to Google this, but I don't know what to type in. Andy Pandy, that's the one. Loved Andy Pandy. And also, bananas in pyjamas. The next question is, what did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? Probably nothing, because I was absolutely terrified of Halloween. Anytime someone even knocked on our door, I would hide behind the fish tank, because I was petrified about the masks and the costumes. Was not a fan, I don't do scary, so. So I probably stayed in my house on Halloween. I think I've been trick or treating, like, maximum three times in my entire life. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? No. I can't read. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? No offence, but British. I don't mind my accent, but American accents really start to grate on me after a while. Did your mother go to college? I'm guessing this is like an American quiz. So did my mum go to university basically? And no, she didn't. Neither did my dad or my brother. No one in my family has gone to university actually. The next question is, are your grandparents still married? All of my grandparents have actually now passed away, which is really sad, but all of them were married when they died. So technically, yeah, they're all still married. Have you ever taken karate lessons? No, I am not a very active person. I was when I was little, but karate was not my thing. Ballet? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? What kind of question is that? Obviously. 22 is, what's the first amusement park you went to? It's in Southend. If anyone knows Southend, you will know Adventure Island. That was the first theme park that I went to. 
theme park. I use that word very loosely. <laughs> what language beside your native language would you like to be fluent in? Honestly, like I'm not really that fussed about languages. As long as I can speak English, that's fine. But if I had to pick, I'd probably choose Spanish because Spain is such an easy holiday to go on. Like just hop on a flight, you can have a long weekend there because it's so close. And when I'm old, I'd like to have like a little villa in Spain so that I can just pop over there when I'm retired. And it would be quite handy to know the language, I guess. So that's the only reason for the holidays, I would choose Spanish. <laughs> Do you spell the colour as grey or grey? I spell it with an E. I always learn that England spell it with an E and America spell it with an A. Question 25 is, is your father bald? Not quite yet, but he's getting there. <laughs> Do you know triplets? No. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? I haven't seen either of these films all the way through. So honestly, I can't choose an answer. Have you ever had Indian food? What's the name of your favourite restaurant? It would probably be something really standard like either Prezzo or Pizza Express because I love pizza and I love pasta or I absolutely love Bill's. Bill's breakfasts, honestly, life changing. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? I think that's a restaurant in America and no, I've never been. Do they sell olives? Like, what is it? Do you belong to any warehouse stores? Costco, BJ's, etc. Again, no. Probably should have read these questions before I filmed this video, shouldn't I? What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I actually asked my mum this the other day and she said that if I was a boy I probably would have been called Oliver. I like that name, I think it's cute. If you have a nickname, what is it? Most people just call me Han, to be honest. Like, not a lot of people call me Hannah. Other than my mum and dad, not a lot of people call me Hannah. People I don't really know that well call me Fab Han quite a lot. Or my auntie used to call me Hannah Rooney when I was little. Question 34 is, who's your favourite person in the world? I honestly could couldn't pick just one person. All of my family are my favourite people in the world. The next question is, would you rather live in a rural area or in the suburbs? To be honest, I've never been able to get my head around what both of those things are, but if we're talking like city or country, I 1000% would rather live in the country. I'm not really a city person, like I like going into the city every now and again, but I don't like that there's so many people there, so many buildings, so many fumes. I have always been quite a country person. I grew up like in a little village. We've always been a very outdoorsy family. So definitely in the country. I'd love to have like loads of fields around me. Can you whistle? Not really. It's not a very strong whistle. It's a little bit windy. <laughs> Do you sleep with a nightlight? I don't, but my alarm clock has such a bright screen that it kind of doubles up as a nightlight. It really gets on my nerves because it's just too bright. I like to sleep in the dark, but I kind of had no choice with that one. Question 38 is, do you eat breakfast every morning? No, I don't. I'm really bad with breakfast. It takes my stomach like an hour and a half to wake up after I wake up, and then I start feeling hungry. So if I'm like getting up and going out, I won't really eat breakfast, but if I'm at home all day, then yeah, I will. Do you take any pills or medication daily? I take the pill every day. I take my multivitamins every day. My Acid soft and chewy pomegranate flavour is the one. And in the summer, I have to have a really strong hay fever tablet every day because my hay fever is so bad. I'm on like one of the strongest dosages prescribed for hay fever and sometimes that doesn't even stop it. What medical conditions do you have? I don't have anything serious right now. I've got a bit of a story for this one. So about six weeks ago, I was feeling really tired, like didn't leave the house for over a week, couldn't face barely getting out of bed. I would make a cup of tea and be shattered. So I went to the doctors for a blood test. A week later she rang and she was like, oh, you got glandular fever. Nice. Okay. If you don't know what it is, basically it makes you really tired. There are some circumstances where it can be like quite serious. Some people get like sickness with it and all that. I didn't really have it too bad. I was just mega tired. And it's one of these things that takes really long for you to recover from it. So the doctors have said that I'm going to be really tired for the next four to six months, which is great. But my really bad week was a couple of weeks before summer in the city. My doctors told me to rest for like a month and that I should have time off work and stuff like that. But that just just wasn't really an option and I'm quite lucky with my work that most of the time if I'm really tired I can just sit and edit for a day but I'm gradually getting better I'm gradually feeling less tired and now I'm not having to have more than one nap in a day <laughs> so we're on the app people we're getting there how many times have you been to the hospital before I met my boyfriend I had never been to a hospital other than when I was born obviously but I don't remember that since meeting my boyfriend for about the first eight months of our relationship was spent mostly in the hospital <laughs> so I've been to the hospital more times than I can count and and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I explained it in a video, I'll leave it linked below. 
go and watch that and it explains everything. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Obviously. Where do you buy your jeans? I mostly get my jeans from New Look because I have really long legs and they do really long sizes. What's the last compliment you got? It hasn't been today and I have the memory of a goldfish so I can't remember anything that happened yesterday. Oh yesterday I went shopping. Probably when I tried on a jumper and mum said that looks nice on you. Question number 45 is do you remember your dreams in the morning? No. Like I've said multiple times I've got such a bad memory it's very very rare that I remember a dream or as a matter of fact that I remember anything. <laughs> what flavour tea do you enjoy? I only like standard British English breakfast tea. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Not an excessive amount but more than I can count so I don't know I'm gonna guess between 20 and 30. What religion will you raise your children to practice? I myself and my family aren't religious but my boyfriend and his family have like hints of Christianity so it will be Christian because obviously his religion is stronger than any religion I don't have. If you have a child in the room skip this question. How old were you when you found out that wasn't real? I think I was about seven or eight when my mum told me. I'm not sure. I can't really remember it. And the last question is why do you have a tumblr? Okay so these questions were obviously written for tumblr. I don't have a tumblr anymore. I did. I had a personal one. I had a Tom Daly tumblr account. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. So I'm gonna change it to YouTube. So why do I have a YouTube? Because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the process of creating a video. My favourite part of the whole process is definitely editing and making the thumbnail. I really like doing stuff on my laptop so it just suits me and I like the community that we've built up, I like the friends I've made and it brings a lot of exciting opportunities so that is why I do YouTube. And that brings us to the end of this video. I'm sorry that I rambled a bit, I feel like this is quite a long video so sorry about that. If you made it to the end, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. But I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up if you did and do subscribe, turn on the little bell so you can get notified, you can get a little ding when I upload a video. But thanks for watching, have a lovely day and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!